Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Today, Apple officially invited members of the media to its fall event that's slated for September 10th, 2019 at the Steve Jobs Theater inside of Apple Park Campus in Cupertino, California. The media invites offer up a first look at the theme of the event and feature the tagline, by innovation only. People usually like to play the overanalyzation game of the invite, myself included, and considering that it's just an apple draped in different colors, the only thing that I can think of are the new iPhone colors. The iPhone XR is rumored to be coming in lavender and green, which are coincidentally the colors of the logo at the top and the bottom. Of course, there's a lot more to look forward to when it comes to this event because we are expecting to see the new 2019 iPhone lineup, which Apple is expected to continue to offer three iPhones, two OLED models in 5.8 and 6.5 inches, and one LCD model that's 6.1 inches. All three, however, will see camera improvements. The two OLED models are set to have a triple lens camera setup arranged within a square bump with the setup including a telephoto lens, wide angle lens, and a new super wide angle lens. Apple is also going to use a new matte finish for the iPhones and they may feature better shatter water resistance for improved durability. Face ID is also going to be improved and will work from more angles, but there won't be any other changes to the size of the notch. 3D touch is also being eliminated in favor of the haptic feedback system first introduced with the iPhone XR. We could also expect to see bilateral wireless charging, bigger batteries, a new AMX coprocessor, and a new A13 chip. Typically, Apple's fall event includes the announcement of new Apple Watch models, and while it's looking like we're not going to see many updates to the watch this year, there are hints of new ceramic and titanium models. There's also a possibility that we could see the new iPad Pro models, a 10.2 inch iPad, and the new high-end 16 inch MacBook Pro that's been rumored for quite some time and is expected to be launching this fall, but Apple might hold a separate event for these devices in October. Apple's new hardware will also ship with the latest version of iOS, iOS 13, and ahead of when the new iPhones launch, we can expect to see iOS 13 released alongside macOS Catalina, watchOS 6, iPadOS, and tvOS 13. Two new services, Apple Arcade and Apple TV Plus are going to launch this fall as well, so we may hear additional details, including pricing information and release timelines at the September event, and we might also hear more information about the new Mac Pro and Pro Display XDR that Apple unveiled back at WWDC 2019. As with past events, Apple will stream the event live on its website and on the Apple TV when it kicks off at 10 a.m. Pacific time, but for those who are unable to watch, MacRumors will be providing full event coverage on both macrumors.com and through the MacRumors live Twitter account. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more video content about the event, as well as hands-on with the products that might be released in the not too distant future. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video. Oh,